Okay, we're talking about the sewer lines. These are the uh, terracotta sewer lines that they have in the ground in most these old houses. And when you come in and do PVC up against it, well, you'll need to cut it. But now, if you use a regular, if you use a regular skill saw with a diamond blade, well, what's going to happen is this thing's going to get hot and it's going to crack. And it does it every time. You use one of those, or you use a, a handheld tile saw. Because it just gets too hot and the vibration is too much for it. And it'll crack every time. Now the plumbers use those chain uh, chain breakers. But being that we're, those are extremely expensive, the next best thing is a sawzall. And you can get you a carbide blade. And if you can find them with a diamond blade, that's even better. It'll cut faster. But uh, this will do cast iron and that'll cut faster. This one, this carbide one, will cut faster through cast iron than it will through tile. But that's okay because we're not in a hurry anyway. Plus, this one will reach all the way around because these things are going to be in the ground anyway. You're only going to have a, a small section that you can see. And you're going to be wanting to just cut just what you want. Now the next thing you want to be aware of is if for some reason you did use a tile saw or whatever and it did crack, well you want this just far enough to the bell to where when you put this boot on there, it'll cover everything but the bell. Because it's normally full of concrete anyway. And um, as you put the, you get these are, or some clamps that go around this and this will this will cover the crack all the way up to the bell and then you shouldn't have any worries because crack what will happen is you'll get a a root in there and once you get one root then you'll get another and another and next thing you know the root grows big enough and it just breaks breaks your tile anyway let me go ahead and start cutting this Okay, we finally got this thing cut through. This is about the, so you can see how thick these things are, just from the size of my finger and up against the wall of this terracotta. But uh, anyway, there's no, no cracks. I thought for sure we were going to get one across the thin part here, but it didn't do it. So. Normally they don't with uh, with these diamond sawzall blades, so that's what you really want. Anyway, once you get that off, then you've got your rubber tie seal. You can slide this, and if you do have a crack on here, you can slide this all the way up. And uh, of course, it could probably go a little farther if you cut it a little closer. But in any case, once you get to that, as you can see on the inside, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's just a little little space in there for when this one joins the next piece. So, and plus, it's full of concrete. So really, if this rubber tie seal covers it all the way to here and you've got a crack here, well then, this is full of concrete anyway, and it's very unlikely you're gonna get any roots in there. So this would be the way to go. But another thing is when you get your, 
your PVC and you get ready to slide it in there, you want to make sure that when you get ready to put it together, you want to get this thing as close as you possibly can. So there's no chance, the farther away you get it, there's a chance of when the ground shifts, the thing's going to pull away from one way or the other, up or down or side to side. So you want to try to get this thing as close as you can. It won't fit inside, but you can get it close and then that'll take away any chance of this thing trying to, it won't pull apart, but it will try to, the ground will shift this thing back and forth. That's what creates a lot of problems. Roots will get up against these things and push them one way or another. So this would pretty much stop that from happening. So, uh, well anyway, it's going in here. Good luck on uh, patching your, your sewer line. These things are notorious about getting roots in here from a crack or something. And the way you can normally find the crack or the roots where they're getting in is you can get these companies that have these video cameras that can go inside a sewer and they can find out where the break is and they can pinpoint it to where you don't have to dig up the whole thing but just a section of it. But uh, this is pretty much it. Pull this off if I can. Oh boy, these things. When they grab, they do grab good. But you can see how good of a cut that is. So, yeah, it's fairly straight. All right. Well, happy digging. <laughs>